All right, we gotta be very, very quiet. We're on the prowl, and we are stalking some infamous rioters. Got him. Anyways, welcome back to another Division video. I hope you all are having just a fantastic day. Um, I want to hop into this video and show you this Deadeye build, but before I do so, I want to give a big shout out to Revolution Gaming, uh, their Facebook community, the most awesome non-toxic uh, gaming community out there on all things gaming, not just Division. And also, if you'd like your chance to enter into a PS4 Pro or Xbox One console giveaway, then click on the Glean link in the description below and follow through the steps and you will be on your way to uh, winning that console of choice. And also, since it's the YouTube apocalypse when it comes to ad rates, if you'd like to increase your chances on that giveaway, then become a patron. That link is also in the description below. There's many rewards uh, that you can get your hands on by becoming a patron and also along with that you get quadruple the entries into all giveaways and all giveaways that will be in the near future as long as you remain a patron. But without further ado, let's hop into this build. But first and foremost, I also want to uh, say I could not find a decent marksman rifle that I would uh, prefer as far as you know to one shot somebody such as like the M700 or anything like that but I did a lot of solo PVE missions with this uh, marksman rifle which is the historian mm -hmm. and I will go through its ta talents on it uh, the talent is history repeats each bullet embeds itself in the target and detonates one second later for 700 percent of your firearms total what is my firearms 10,104 and then we have harmful each hit has a 15% chance to apply the bleed dice effect in that case I would rather have dead, uh, deadly which will increase my uh, crit hit damage and in the first slot we have prepared damage is increased by 15% when more than 30 meters from the target this is the best one I could get my hands on it was in the base of operations inside the terminal and you can purchase it for some Phoenix credits I believe it was about 1400 now moving on to the mods that are in it which is magazine size crit hit chance and fire rate crit hit damage crit hit chance headshot damage in the optics in the muzzle, we have crit hit damage, crit hit chance, stability. Now, in my secondary is my trusty MP5N with responsive, deadly, and fierce. And also in it, the trifecta, crit hit damage, and crit hit chance with magazine size. In the optics, we have crit hit damage, headshot damage, and crit hit chance. In the small muzzle, we have crit hit damage, headshot damage, and crit hit chance. And then moving on to the small underbarrel, we have crit hit damage, stability, and optimal range. Now let's hop right on over to the gear. Uh, Dead Eye chest piece classified, 1838. I wish that armor was at least 100 to 150 higher, but this is the only Dead Eye chest piece that I was able to require. And as you can know, you can reroll two stats on each uh, gear set item so I re-rolled the firearms to get the most out of it I believe it's around 13 uh, 99 if I'm not mistaken and then the major attributes 15,688 health and then health on a kill and 50% ammo capacity and if you want to know the talents for all the data in case you do not know two uh, set bonuses 40% initial bullet stability the three uh, bonus set is the 20% marksman rifle crit hit damage and then the set bonus for four is when zoomed marksman rifle lose headshot damage but gains 50% critical strike chance when out of cover and 100% crit strike chance when in cover and then the fifth talent is 40% initial bullet stability and 20% marksman rifle crit hit damage. Now the six piece bonus is called improved dead eye. When zoomed, getting a headshot kill with marksman rifle will increase critical hit damage by 20% every second to a maximum of 100% and will increase stability by 100% last for 10 seconds or until no longer zoomed. And in the mod slots, we have firearms and skill haste in both. 
moving on to the mask we have a decent armor roll with firearms and the major attributes 9780 and skill power if you choose to you can uh, switch this to something else but there's really no need to put crit chance on here uh, because when you're scoped in you're basically going to be hitting uh, crit shots all the time and the major attributes 12% damage to elites so this is a this is a PVE build but also can be twerked uh, here and there uh, and with the right marksman rifle it can be a awesome PVP build mm -hmm. now to the knee pads great armor roll at 1636 and the firearms we have a great firearms roll and as always on knee pads major attributes is 16,629 you can swap that out for 8% crit hit damage uh, but I think you would benefit more from the 16,629 in health and my favorite in my minor, main, minor attributes is bleed resistance, burn resistance, and shock resistance now moving on to the mod slots we have firearms with skill haste with first aid cell field now on to the backpack we have 1330 in armor awesome roll we have a great firearm stat major attributes as always on your backpack 12212 and in the minor attributes is 51 percent ammo capacity if you choose to lose that 12 percent health you can also gain around 14 to 15 k in skill power if you so choose to now moving on to the mod slots, we have Firearms Skill Haste with First Aid Cell Fields. Moving on to the gloves, this is the best gloves I was able to come across. As you can see, my other gloves is low in armor as well. But it has Skill Haste, Shotgun Damage, and Enemy Armor Damage. And when only being able to roll two things, uh, I went with this pair of gloves because it met my needs. Um, as I saw fit with marksman rifle damage, skill haste, and crit hit damage, and it has a nice firearms roll. The only setback is the low armor roll on it. Now moving on to the holster. The only holster that I was able to acquire, 954 armor. It could be a little higher, which it was around at least 980, 990. But the main stats are pretty decent across the board at 1389, 1355, and 1363. And then the major attributes is 7944 health. Now let's go on over to the talents that I normally use. Well, that I've been trying out on this build is Adrenaline. Triage when running in a group. So that way I get my skills back faster since I am... Uh, running low on skill power and electronics the next one would be critical save um, when you're in a group use a med kit during low health and increases damage resistance by 20 percent for 10 seconds then also moving over to chain reaction damage multiple hostiles with an explosion to apply 20 percent more damage from the blast now this is uh, a hypothetical since the historian's uh, bullet does explode uh, one second after it hits, uh, I'm trying to experiment to see if chain reaction will actually work on it. If not, then I would most likely go with either like strike back, uh, reach low health to reduce active school uh, cooldowns by 20%. Or even combat medic when, when in a group, use a med kit near allies to help group members and proxies within 20 meters by 40%. Now this by no means is a blueprint on how you should roll each individual gear. But if you're looking to basically one shot anybody, then you're going to want to stack firearms repeatedly. Now if you don't want to put health on your chest piece, your backpack and knee pads, um, that is definitely going to lower your toughness. Um, if you only have health on one of those things, then that's going to drop you around to 240k toughness, which is, I think, that is extremely too squishy. Especially if you want to switch out one for the 8% crit hit damage, which is, I think, you'll be more viable and have more survivability if you have health on them. Now when it comes to actually abilities in use, you can, if you have adequate enough skill power um, to have a good pulse, you could use that for the extra crit damage. 
um, but I mainly use this build for PvE so I drop this life support station so when I am solo if I happen to go down I have my box there and it will pick me back up and then I can continue to keep on uh, grinding um, but many of you out there have probably better gear and better stats than what this is this is just what I prefer um, when I do acquire say a better um, marksman rifle damage uh, instead of harmful here maybe deadly uh, determined or something along that lines uh, but prepared I think is uh, really good damage is increased by 15% when more than 30 meters because with this especially a PvP if you decide to take this build in there then you want it to be at least mid range to long range um, to get the most out of this build now, up close and personal it's not going to do so well but from mid range and farther back then that's just going to elevate your damage even more and especially with the M700 with elevated if you're on the street just hop up on a car and you get that elevated damage bonus and if you have prepared on that as well and far enough away that's just going to be more damage stacked on top of that but in the description let me know what you guys think what are your talents on your marksman rifle what is your preferred marksman rifle that you use when running a dead eye set and uh, I'd like to know your feedback uh, I very much appreciate you guys for tuning into the channel for commenting um, I love constructive conversation on finding new things because uh, there are certain things that I don't even know out there. So your feedback is very much appreciated. And if you enjoyed the video, please ground and pound that like and subscribe button if you're uh, not a sub to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. It would be very much appreciated if you do sub to the channel. And don't forget all those giveaway links and all the links in the description below. And this is your boy Relentless. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you guys later.